Hi everyone, I am Rajesh Kumar. I am having close to 16 plus years of experience in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. I have worked with more than 12 software organizations around the globe. I would like to introduce you all a DevOps School's a flagship certification program in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, this program will get started in the weekends. Uh, so get involved. Uh, please contact us on the phone number given on the screen. And in fact, you can email us on, on the contact at the rate of DevOps School. Okay, so next question is, what is Jira? Okay, what is Jira? So now let's start with simple SDLC plan. What we do in software development lifecycle. So we do planning and then we do the coding and then we do the code analysis and then we do the build for the code you need testing we perform we create a package of the software we store the packaging okay. and then you deploy to QA environment and multiple environments and you perform acceptance testing and finally code coverage and finally we do the release if everything pass we do the release if one failed then we do the repeat agree with me all of you is it every organization follow the same process or any differences every organization follow the same process it's the entire software development practices in the pre-production environment every organization has to follow same practices this is the global standard okay now for each phases we have a different different teams and different different tools okay that is a that may change actually the roles and responsibility may change and tools may change so one of the tools which i'm going to name it out here planning for it jira and confluence this is what i am teaching you today means how do you plan your software how do we share your uh, idea your documents and stuff like that. These are the two tools. After that, I'll teach you Git here. How do we store the code after writing it? After that, I'll teach you Sonar Cube, which is for code analysis. After that, I'll teach you Maven and Gradle for the build. After that, I'll teach you unit testing, packaging, let's say factor and all, and archive where artifact tree and deploy to QA and civil and acceptance testing we have selenium and code coverage we have check apart from that many other tools also we have like jenkins and some other automated tools monitoring tools and all which anyways i teach but this will be the flow of it that means you are going to work with everything in fact coding i'll teach you python here so I'll teach you how to write a Python program and how to store it. Make sense, all of you? Okay. So now next next question is what is Jira? So Jira is a planning tool, simple, where you can say you can store what? You can store your tasks. Okay. You can store your tasks. You can store your issues issues you can store your teacher can you please mute yourself guys yeah so you can store your task you can store your issues you can store your feature and you know you can store your project activities everything you can store here so basically it's you can say it's a planning tool but also you can say project management tool so many huge cases which we have uh, for Jira project management tool, many things. Okay, so now this is developed in Java. Yes, this particular tool is developed in Java. So when you want to install this tool, you need to have a Java. But on not only Java, uh, this is from the Atlassian. Atlassian is one of the company who developed this software. They have a multiple products also 
like bamboo, fish eye, bit bucket. These are the products belong to them. And Jira is one of the most popular project from Atlassian. Okay, so if you want to do managing your project in terms of tasks, issues, knowing their status, features, and all these things, blah, 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 then you have to use Jira. All of you are clear? All of you? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So now, next question is how to install it. Now, this part I am skipping it. Why? Because nowadays, most of the application is going SaaS based. Okay. So, in your DevOps career, you will not get a opportunity where you can install the Jira. Why? Because Jira is one of the established product. It will be there installed already in your environment. So, installing is not that difficult. Just install Java and install the Jira and start using it. Rather than what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the online version of Jira. That means offering, we, you can install the Jira in your laptop also. But I'm going to show you the online offering of the Jira. So you can say Jira trial. Okay. And this is the website. Go to this place. And here you can start trying the Jira software, which is here, this URL. Okay. And then here you can try Jira also. Here you can try Confluence also. So Jira for you see project and issue tracking. Confluence for your sharing your documents, document collaborations. So you can try all this thing. So right now, this is the product and this is the product which I'm going to try. So I select here and next. No credit card required. Anyone can start this. Okay. So uh, now, can you give you a real time example like con uh, difference between Jira and Confluence? How they use? Uh, it's a very simple uh, way to think. Do you want to store any documents? Do you want to store? So Jira is not a place. So you have a let's say you I'll, I'll put it in more simple way. Do you know the world's largest knowledge archiving platform what is that knowledge harvesting platform no i th i i know that you know that here jamil okay. said wikipedia so wikipedia is for the whole world and who okay. contribute to the who contribute to the wikipedia everyone so now, Confluence is also wiki software, simple. It's a software for wiki, but this is for your project. Who will contribute? Your team. What they will contribute about the product, project, issues, and uh, architect, design documents, slides, anything which is related to the product, they will share at the conference. Make sense? So, yeah, it makes sense. But if the data will be stored in any cloud or it's in non premise? It's up to you. You store the Confluence in the local. Data will be stored in the local. If you used to use the cloud, the one which I'm using, so it will store at the cloud. Okay. Got it. So, that is the thing. So, Jira and Confluence both can be stored in your server, private server. But both can be available online also. <laughs> Nowadays, everything is being online uh, because GitHub has become online and Terraform also become online and uh, build operations all do thing you do in the cloud like AWS and all. So everything is become deployment you do in the cloud. So everything has been online. So it's like this. Okay. Yeah, so here I'm trying Jira and Confluence.
cloud free email id and site name so this site name means your organization name so i have used almost all the organization names let me create a unique devops school is not there i know is there i know is there yeah so maybe what they do they clean up the older name maybe and agree so this site you created for your organizations okay and here two products will be available for them available for you they'll take few minutes to set up basically they are doing the setup in the containers and now what is a containers you know that right all of you yes so you have to practice it also so here you meanwhile please read this here jira software a software development tool used by agile team plan track and release work class software now agile i think uh, i because uh, some of you from the non it non software background so what is agile uh, please uh, uh, spend some time on the youtube for that okay because agile i am not teaching you here but uh, this was the practice is there from last 20 years in a software industry so you have to understand the agile little bit here okay so agile is very important okay so my setup is done and uh, i am a jira whatever you want to say i am new to jira or what exactly my team is agile or new to agile whatever it you want to do that skip now here so here you have to create a project okay so this is a this is your company you can say and project you have to set it one project or multiple project depends on this so you have to check let's say one project which i am saying project x okay now project x following what process so if you see that here so many options are there you have a kanban which is recommended but you click on the more attempted and here you can see kanban scrum and bug trek now if you don't understand the agile then you will not understand the kanban and scrum okay so just my, for my understanding how many of you are understanding uh, scrum in the chat window can you put it up just i want to know okay so i think yeah that my guess was right uh, most of you so here i'll put it in a very simple way okay because that that itself is a different concept so i'll put it in very simple way not going through the official documents and all see earlier we were doing one software development and this i did develop discuss in the first day also so first software development in one year okay so what model we were following what a form model okay this we were doing from 1970 to 90 2000 you can say something like that yeah, what a form model now what we did how many features we are developing in this so we are developing let's say 100 features example of the software you can take it up in ms office how many features you have more than 100 by the way bold italic this that and all word excel slide this that more than 200 300 features you have in the software but after that what we did after that we said hey we will not do the, the feedback mechanism in one year let's do in the two weeks i'm just stating as example two weeks so then people say what we call this release cycle then they say we call it as i Okay. So what a fall to us I, and now how many features you will develop and complete in two weeks? Let's say two, two, three, or whatever it is. So that way the feedback loop will be faster. Architecture also got changed actually, so that is also another thing. So this is called Azai. Azai itself, there's so many model got introduced. 
one of the model which is very popular model which is Scrum. yeah and then another model we have kanban uh, and uh, xp so many models are there well if you get into this it's like whole world again six months of stuff you have to if you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching.